Hello, this is Averages Lesson 3. In this, I will discuss more examples on averages. In this lesson, I will discuss most of the example on age-based question. This question are sold in a bit different way than the questions we sold in the previous lessons. Uh, let's say the first question, the average age of a husband, wife and their child was 23 years, 5 years ago and that of wife and child 8 years ago was 19 years. We need to find the present age of husband. Let's say in 2005, 2010, present year is 2015, so 5 years ago, that is 2010, let's say husband was H years old, wife was W years old at that time and son was, let's say S year old. What was their average age? Their average age was 23 years. Now 5 years down the line, that is present 2015, husband will be 5 year old, older, wife will be again wife will also be five year old older than the previous and same way son will also be five year older than he was in 2010 now as i discussed in the lesson one if each number is increased by same constant the average increases by the same constant now in this case each of pers each of observation h w and s increased by five so every average will also increased by five average will become 20 8 years 23 plus 5 28 so we can say that presently their average age of all three is 28 but with a total of 3 2015 total age of all the three that is husband wife and son is total is average into number of observation average is 28 and there are three people so total will be 28 into 3 total age of all three is 84 years the second statement of the question says that the wife and child 8 years ago, their average age was 19 years. So 2007, present year is 2015. So 8 years ago, that is 2007. Let's say his wife was w, small w years old and son was small s year old. 8 years ahead, that is 2015. Wife will be w plus 8 and son will be s plus 8. Their average age at that time was 19. So presently their average will be 19 plus 8 that is 27 years. Why 27? Because each observation has increased by 8. So average will also increase by 8. Even though we don't know the individual ages of wife and son. So their average age is 27. Total of 2. In present total age of wife and child would be 27 into 2. Average into number of observations, 54 years. So total age of 3 is 84, out of which wife and son present age is 54. So husband age will definitely be 84 minus 54. Answer is 30 years. That is second option. Next question. Please try to solve yourself and then look at this way I have solved. This question is very similar to the question I solved just few minutes back. Second question says that 10 years ago, the average age of a family of 4 members were 25 years. Two children having been born with the age difference given that 4 years. The present age of family of is still the same. The present age of youngest child the question is asking. Again, we can assume that 10 years ago, let's say 2005, because present days I am taking 2015, let's say 4 persons were A, B, C and D. There were the 4 members, their ages were A, B, C and D. 2005, average, their average age at that time was 25 years. Now, each of the person A, B, C and D will become 10 years older than he or she was in 2005. So age will be A plus 10, B will be B plus 10 year old, C will be C plus 10 year old and D will be D plus 10 year old in 2015. As you can see that each observation or each person age has increased by 10 years, average will also increase by 10 years even though we don't know the individual ages of A, B, C and D. Average will be 35. Their present average age is 35. What is the total age of old four? Total age of old four person who are already there would be how much? 35 into 4 
that is 140 years that is their total age come to the second case the question says that two children having been born with the age difference of four years present age of family is still the same now presently there are two children apart from four members so total there are six members total there are six members their average age is still the same that is 25 years total age in 2015 total age of 2015 of six members would be 25 into 6 that is 150 years it means that presently total age of all six is 150 why 150 because presently the average age of family of six is same that was 10 years ago that is 25 total number of persons are six so total age would be 150 years total age of four older members is 140 so by common sense two children c1 let's say child number one child number two their total age because there are two children their total age would be how much 150 minus 140 that is 10 years because 150 includes the age of six but we know that age of older four presently is 140 so by common sense the two children's present age is 10 years the statement in the bracket says that their age difference was four years so child number one was older and their age difference was four years adding this we get 2 c1 is equals to 14 years it means c1 is equals to 7 years it means that the elder child is 7 year old putting the value of c1 equation you will get c2 is equals to 3 years it means that c2 that is the youngest child is 3 years old so what will be our option our option will be 3 option last option will be our answer so in this way this medium difficulty level questions of age can be solved in less than a minute by applying the method that if each observation increased by the same constant average will also increase by same constant this question is a bit more difficult than the previous one again first you should first try to solve yourself by pausing this video and then look at the way i have solved 15 years ago the average age of a member of a fam joint family of 10 members was 25 years Five years later, a member aged 60 years died and a child was born in the family in the, that same year. Again, five years after that, another member aged 80 years died and an, another child was born in that year. Find the present age of member of the family in years. So first say that 15 years ago, let's say 15 years ago is 2000 year because present year I am taking 2015. 2000 was the 15 years ago. Then I am just writing what will be the setting below year then here I am adding members average age and total age just make a small table 15 years ago that is year 2000 this question seems to be a bit difficult but once you will apply basic common sense and make a table it will be very easy for you to solve this there were 10 members 15 years ago their average age was 25 what was their total age total is what 250 years total is average into number of observation five years later that is year 2005 what happened <clears throat> if there were 10 members each person could have been five year older average age was 25 if no one could have died the average age would increase by 5 average would become 30 and total will become 300 but question says that 5 years later that is in 2005 a member aged 60 years died and a child was born in the family in that year so 300 will not be total age because 60 years old person died so we will subtract 60 in total age and a child was born what is the what is the age of child when he is just born age is 0 so we have to subtract 60 because 60 years person died and add 0 because the age of child is initially 0 years. So total is not 300, total is 240. When the total is 240 and the members are 10. So average will not be 30, average in 2004 will be 24 years because average is total by number of observations. 5 years after that, that is 2010. Again, the number of members are still 10, but the question says that five years after that, another member aged 80 years died. If no one could have died, 
each person will be five years older in 2010 10 as compared to 2005 so their average would be 24 plus 5 29 years if no one could had died and total age would be how much 290 10 into 29 but the question says that person is 80 years died so we subtract his age and a child was also born in the same year and child age will be zero in that year so total will not be 290 total will be 210 total is 210 members are still 10 because one person died and one person born and total average age will be not 21 it will be 21 years now the question says that what is the present age of all the members of the family present is 2015 again the members are still 10 now there is no condition and no statement is given from 2010 to 2015 so there is a gap of 5 years each person will become 5 years older so the average will also increase by 5 average will become 26 years so in 2015 that is presently their average age of family is 26 years although this is a medium difficulty level question this can be solved in a minute in aptitude exam next question in a class there are two sections a and b the average marks obtained by students of section a and b in science are 40 and 50 number of students are in the ratio 7 is to 3 find the average marks of the whole class there are two section a and b number of students number of students we don't know number of students its ratio is given 7 is to 3 as i discussed in the ratio basic lesson whenever the ratio is given how to convert ratio into numbers you will multiply by x so number of students will be 7x and 3x why 7x and 3x because ratio was 7 is to 3 so i convert the ratio into numbers 7x and 3x their average marks their average marks in section A was 40 marks, section B was 50 marks. Now we need to calculate the average of whole class. So average of whole class would be total marks of entire class, total marks of entire class divided by total students, total students. So total marks of entire class will be total marks of A, total marks of section A plus total marks of section B divided by number of students of section A, number of students of section B. That will be total students. So total marks of section A would be how much? Total is, you know that average is total by N. So total is average into number of observations. So total marks of class A would be, number of students are 7x, their average marks are 8. 7x into 40. Of B would be 3x into 50. Total number of students are 7x plus 3x. So you will get 7x into 240 is equal to 280x, 150x divided by 10x. This becomes 430x by 10x. Average marks of entire class would be 43 years. So this kind of question can also come in your aptitude exam. That was all about averages lesson 3. Thank you. Try to solve the question of averages in a similar manner.